Hey, I'm redoing one of my earlier videos. I want to talk to you about what happens to lab-created antimatter. And the simple fact of the matter is it just kind of poofs. It annihilates just like antimatter does when it interacts with matter. We're only making a couple particles, a couple atoms of it at a time, and it takes a lot of energy to store it. So when they annihilate, they annihilate relatively harmlessly. PET scans, for example, are using positrons. Positrons are antimatter and they're annihilating safely in a hospital setting. Now, in my original video, I said that a teaspoon of matter was like 10 to 1,000 atoms, which is totally fucking wrong. I was tired and I misspoke. There are only about 10 to the 82 atoms in the universe. The physics of scale are still a mind-blowing thing. A teaspoon of antimatter would be sometimes around 10 to the 23 atoms, depending on what sort of antimatter it is. And that annihilating would be bigger than any explosion that we have ever produced before. But we don't produce that much antimatter. We only produce a couple particles or a couple atoms, and they annihilate totally safely.